Hello, this tutorial will serve as a brief introduction to the assignment feature, which is in Blackboard, which is the feature that you're going to need to use in order to collect the data for the big data project that we're doing this uh, in the fall. So you first come over to the, there's a little plus button in your navigation bar on the left hand side, and then you're going to create a content area. Pretty simple, just click on it and add the name of the content area. This is usually, the way I do it, this is the name of the assignment, so I might call it um, SA1 Literacy Narrative. And submit it, and then it will show up at the bottom of the links that are available to students. The control panel is, there's a, there are many more links available to you, but students don't see these. Will appear down here, you will see that it's got this uh, bar through a box, it means that the link is hidden from students and that gives you an opportunity to build the link uh, before students are able to see it. When you're ready, you just click on this and you show the link and you'll see that that little bar disappears. This other little bar just indicates that there's this little box indicates that the link doesn't have any content as of yet, just as a reminder. And then, of course, some of you know this already, you can move this around. So I would put this up. I have got a subheading here called Assignments and Grading Criteria. So once I'm in, once I have this, this link to a content area, I'm going to enter it. And um, just as an aside, the edit mode needs to be on in order for you to be able to do this. Uh, if the edit mode is off, you can't do anything. And it's, this is intended to show you what it looks like for students. It doesn't always work, but it's, it's, that's its purpose. So make sure that is on. I'm gonna build an assessment. The assessment is an assignment. And this, this is the assignment feature of Blackboard. This is the thing that is crucial for data collection for this project. And I'm going to call it, um, Essay one, literacy narrative. And here in the description area, I would probably repeat the description of the assignment um, and, and the expectations. Attach files if, uh, if there are any to attach. You can use this or not. I don't use it. Uh, it alerts you, it alerts students. Um, it's optional. Grading, it has to be graded. I give everything in Blackboard 100 points and then I adjust its grade weight in the gradebook feature itself later. So I can give this, I can make this worth 10% of the overall grade or 5% or 20%, whatever it is. And then you can add a rubric here. There are other tutorials that I have given you on how to use rubrics. I highly recommend them. I think they're a great idea. In submission details, leave this alone. It's an individual submission. Here, I adjust this to two attempts because that way if a student messes up the first attempt, they can do it a second time. That always happens and then I download the last graded attempt. Uh, you can do this if you want. I don't usually. Uh, but if you do this, I think this is a very good idea for students to be able to see the originality report. And here are some features for you. If you want to grade your students' essays anonymously, you can. If you want to delegate grading, grading you can do that as well. The assignment has to be available. You can make it available for a certain time and then have it disappear at a certain time. But just be aware that the link to the assignment disappears completely so it doesn't just gray out, which means that students may be confused. They may think they just didn't find it. They may not understand that it's no longer available. So once you have this set the way you like it, you click Submit. You can always edit this and go back and change it. And there it is. Of course, there would be some sort of a description here. But that's, that's the assignments feature. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to access and download those.
So now that I've created this, this is where students will need to come to submit their essays. I'm going to turn the edit mode off so you can see what students will see. They click on the link and you're going to want to ask them to attach a file so that the file can be downloaded in a docx format that's very important that they attach the file and they don't just write the submission they don't put the submission in the dialog box they can add some comments to you if they like um, that's up to you and then they'll need to submit it this is pretty straightforward for students that don't have a problem with figuring out how to do this so now what i'm going to do is show you the gradebook end of it I've come down to the Grade Center, which is here in the Control Panel, and click on Assignments. You can click on Full Grade Center Assignments, whatever way works best for you. And this is an old class of mine. You can see that the students' names have been hidden for their privacy. But this, I'm not, I'm not going to use this. This is the one that, uh, that we just created. I'm not going to use it because there's nothing in it and I want to show you a, a live one. So what you'll need to do to participate in the project is click on this downward facing arrow and then scroll to assignment file download. Click that. These are the students who are in the course. Highlight their names. Click submit. And then you'll have a link for download assignments now. And there you have it. That's the assignments are downloaded. They are in this, or they're downloading now. They're in the zip file. And here is the file. It came as a zip, and then the computer automatically unzipped it. If you pull this, if you open this, you'll see all of the final research project following a particular naming convention. And that's all there is to retrieving the assignments and then you can grade them this way there are other ways to grade them but this is the the zip file that will be sent to uh, sent to me when these are are collected the zip file and that's it thank you